Um, so, um, to continue, the first part, um, one of the major problems that I had um, for the past three, four years was my joints. It was impossible for me to sit down and get back up without holding onto something or without having major pain in my joints. I went to the doctors. Um, they said I had poor circulation, so I was taking cane pepper for the circulation. Of course, it never worked. Um, besides that, you have ataxia, burning sensation in the joints. If I sit for so long, not so long, 10 minutes, my legs would go numb. I would not be able to feel them. Um, stiffness, joint pain, pains, swelling, cramps, muscle spasms. And for the muscle spasm part, this one was especially my case because I, right now, I owe $20,000 in medical debts because of the fact that I would go to the hospital every so often to the emergency room because of muscle spasm thinking that it is um thinking that it is um what do you call it um a heart attack or something wrong with my heart so i would go to the doctors many many often for the same thing and of course nothing they gave me ever worked then you have swelling in the hands and the feet and in feet which i never had myself and also your vi vitamin deficiency my vitamins i was very low on iron um many people said i was anemic and so i started taking many subs vitamins and other supplements for it to help me out and also the b12 vitamins so I started taking one a day men just so I can get enough of those um, nutrients, vitamins, supplements from those medications. Besides that, you have other symptoms from celiac. And these symptoms are as follows. First thing first, asthma, bladder infection. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same thing as a UTI, but I have had to go to the doctors twice for a UTI. A urinary tract infection blood visions chills and fevers this was my case sometimes I would not know if it was cold outside like no in the winter especially when it's cold I don't know if my cold my me being cold is from the cold outside or if it's my body so just sitting there I don't know what to do um, also you have um, chronic fatigue that is one of the biggest signs also you do not want to do anything you just want to stay home stay in bed you don't want to talk you don't want to talk to nobody you just want to stay there and just be alone this was one of the biggest um problems for me because people would think oh why are you so lazy like what's wrong with you i'm like i don't know i just don't want to do anything they invite me to parties i say no because i just want to stay in bed and just do nothing and this one this was not just the common saturday night mm, fever just stay home and sleep no it it was constant coughing dandruff dizziness vertigo um fluctuating weight fainting i fainted twice one in school uh, doing a test not because the test was hard um and my weight i could never gain weight you could never gain weight with celiac because what happens is it damages your small intestine so you cannot process food so your body lacks the nutrients that it needs to process food so therefore you stay there with your weight you cannot gain weight either you lose weight but you cannot really gain much weight um you also have GERD uh, hair loss headaches which was always my problem I have at least six different types of NSAIDs medication for, for headaches at home uh, heartburn, hemorrhoids, high blood pressure, hypothyroidism, irregular heartbeat, low blood sugar, migraines, long, long, long lasting headaches, night sweats, racing heart, seizures, sinus pressure, sleeping issues. Uh, I went, the, the, the last episode I had of all, of all of these symptoms, I went to the doctor's office just to see what was going wrong with me. And of course, um, they told me that maybe I have HIV. 
it was weird because in my category, I'm not nowhere close for HIV. No, no, that's just not gonna happen. Like, I'm nowhere close to that. So they thought I had HIV, so they did three HIV tests for me just to make sure that I didn't have HIV, which was crazy because I told them, no, I have, I, anyway, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, all of these are the symptoms for celiac disease. And if you have any of those combined symptoms along with your geog geographic tongue, like I mentioned in the previous video, then you should totally go to your doctor's office and get tested for celiac disease or lactose intolerance. I'm sorry, um, gluten intolerance. So celiac disease again means you cannot eat anything that has gluten on it. And in the future videos, I can give you more information about how to eat, how to look at the labels at the market, etc. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them on the uh, comment section. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.